Hey, Brian here from Wrench House Personal Training. So in today's video, what I wanted to go over with you guys is a bicep exercise that is really good for building the peaks. So what we're gonna go over in today's video is three big mistakes that people frequently do on this exercise, and I'm gonna teach you how to fix them. All right guys, so let's get right into the video. So the exercise that we're gonna be talking about today is concentration curls. This is the exercise that a lot of old school bodybuilders used to do, and it's still a great exercise if done correctly. Now this exercise is great for emphasizing the peak of the biceps, so please understand that this exercise is not gonna target the peaks 100%, right? It's still gonna hit the entire bicep head, but this is gonna help emphasize the tension on more of the peak if done correctly. So now what are the top three mistakes that people frequently do wrong with concentration curls? Well, let's go right over them. So mistake number one is actually using too much, too much momentum with your thigh, with your arm, and not isolating the bicep 100%. And you can see right here as I'm showing you, this is not the right way to do it. You do not want to use your thighs leverage. You don't want to lean back on this exercise because that's going to take away from the isolation on the biceps. So what you want to do, how can we fix this, right? What you want to do is focus on pointing your elbow to the floor at all times. And you can see here, as I'm curling that weight up and slowly letting it down, my elbow continues to point straight down to the ground the entire exercise and that's what you want on this because that's going to help keep the tension on the biceps and not shift to the front delts and not shift around to different parts of the body risking injury and not really getting the best out of the exercise mistake number two guys is not rotating the pinky or basically supinating the wrist which is pointing your palm up towards the ceiling at the end of this exercise so what a lot of guys do is that they'll use too much of a heavy weight and they'll just curl the weight up really fast, not getting the squeeze and not really focusing on supinating the wrist, which helps bring out the bicep head to its maximum capabilities, okay? So twisting the pinky towards the ceiling is actually the trick on the end of this exercise and that's what you want to focus on while you're doing the contraction is slowly supinating the wrist as much as possible, which a lot of guys miss. Okay, and I can't stress this enough, with a lot of bicep exercises, that's how you emphasize the peak a lot more is by supinating the wrist, right? And not just being lazy and curling it almost like a hammer curl or halfway in between. And mistake number three, guys, is a very common mistake with a lot of exercises, but it's actually going too heavy, using too much momentum, and not getting the contraction, okay? That static contraction that we're all after to help really bring great results to the muscle, okay? And you can see right here, this is how you don't wanna do it. You don't wanna swing the weight up and down, not getting that static contraction on top, not focusing on tempo at all. So what you wanna do is stay disciplined, come down slower on the negatives, on the eccentric part of the movement. As you come up for the concentric or part, positive part, you wanna come up slow enough so you can get a slow static contraction on top and please use a weight that's moderate or heavy enough so you can get that contraction because if it's too heavy, you're not gonna be able to hold it up. You're gonna risk injury. Your results are gonna suffer. And that's it, guys. To simplify everything, these are the top three mistakes I've seen done wrong most with this exercise. So please follow these three tips if you wanna optimize this exercise, get great bicep training, and take your results to the next level with your arm training. Guys, also, if you're looking for a program that delivers a simple and effective way to build quality muscle after 30, please check out our muscle building system at wrenchhawspt.com. I guarantee you'll break through your plateau and get great results if you're putting everything into the system. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all the support. I'll talk to you soon. Keep working hard.